<clears throat> Hello, um, today we're going to be working with Rhino and we're going to have a step by step tutorial on how to uh, build a 3D model out of a 2D plan uh, drawn on AutoCAD. Right now I have the plan that we have uh, previously drawn in previous tutorials um, in the AutoCAD part of this course and um, I need to make sure that I have appropriate sections uh, uh, sorry, appropriate um, layers for everything and that all objects are placed in the correct layers. Now, the next step is to make sure that um, I have all my layers turned on just so I see what information I have, what information I need, and what kind of information I can uh, deduct or remove for the purposes of building a new model. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save my file as, so I'm going to go for save as, and I will save it somewhere that I know where under the same name. However, I'm gonna add for Rhino. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm gonna have to delete some of the layers and I want to keep the original drawing untouched. So I'm starting a new file that has the same, the same file name with for Rhino added afterwards. I'm gonna save as, and notice how the name of the file at the top has changed from tutorial file to tutorial file dash for Rhino. And this is how I make sure that I am working with a new file that I can edit and I can um, prepare for uh, the purposes of 3D modeling. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my drawing and make sure that I eliminate all the unnecessary information. Such information include um, the uh, dimensions, the text, and probably the doors because I'm gonna be modeling the doors with the 3D modeling software and the window panels right over here. So to do that and to make sure that I'm deleting the layers, not just the objects, because I can't delete layers unless they are completely empty. So for instance, the text has actually a text on it. And if I try to delete it, AutoCAD will not let me do that. And you can see that um, it's because some one of the reasons of why a layer cannot be deleted is because it has objects on it. So it's still not an empty layer. So I'm gonna turn all my layers off and turn them on back on one by one um, to make sure that I eliminate and I delete everything on the layers that I don't need, such as the dimensions layer. So I'm gonna turn the dimensions layer on, select everything and delete it. Um, next is I'm gonna delete the dimensions layer. So I'm gonna click on it, click the delete button. It still has some objects on it for some reason. There seems to be a problem with my AutoCAD file um should be an empty layer it could be a glitch with the version i have with autocad because i can't see anything and as you can see whenever i make a selection i don't have any objects but it's still it still reads it as it has something even though it's not locked it's not frozen and all the settings seem to be okay so uh i'm gonna try deleting it again Okay, we're just gonna leave this for now. I'm gonna move forward to the doors layer. You can see that I have these doors over here, so I'm gonna select them and delete them. And I believe AutoCAD is still... Okay, now I can delete, I'm gonna go back. I have deleted the doors layer. So now it's an empty layer and you can see how the icon is now white and not blue anymore. And so I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna press on the delete button. Alternatively, I can just press on this icon at the top. So I'm gonna choose my delete button because I find it easier to use my uh, keyboard. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my hatch layer. I don't really need my hatches. So I'm just gonna delete everything with the hatch and I will now delete the layer. Okay, there seems to be another problem with the hatch layer. I'm not sure what's going on with AutoCAD. Oh, there, there was an object there. Now I can still has an object that I can't see. I think there's a glitch with this, uh, with this version of AutoCAD that I'm using because it doesn't seem to be anything. And it still reads it as if it's a full layer. I'll just leave this for now. Uh, the next thing that I don't need is my walls layer, no, sorry, my text layer uh, that I need to be 
deleting. Next is uh, my walls layer that I need. So I'm going to keep this on. Then I'm going to go for the windows layer and that all I have to delete now are those lines over here because I will be modeling these with Rhino. So right now, you can see that all I'm left with are just a set of walls and uh, locations where the openings are going to take place. Let me delete, try to delete the other layers. I don't think they will get deleted. OK. All right, so this is it for this file. I'm going to save my changes by pressing on Control S. And next is I'm going to close my AutoCAD application. Now, note, I saved my file as a DWG, a regular uh, AutoCAD file. Next is I'm going to go ahead and open my Rhino file or my Rhino uh, application. I'll just share it with you in a minute as soon as it opens. OK. So I have it open right here, and I will share it with you. Right now, um, this is the application I'm using. It's just a regular Rhino file. Let me just close the extra file that I opened by mistake. So this is a regular Rhino file that is completely empty. I'm going to go to File, Import, and then I'm going to locate the tutorial file that I just made for Rhino, which is right here. Once I double click on it, notice that this is still a DWG file. So you can see it right here. It's a DWG file, a regular AutoCAD file. All I have to do is just press on open. And now it asks for a set of um, information or settings. The thing that I'm going to have to check mostly is the units. The model, model units have to match the layout units. So I was working with millimeters. And now I'm importing it as millimeters as well. Next is I'm going to click on OK. And you can see now that it looks like nothing happened except for this extra yellow line right here. In reality, um, the file was imported, but the zero point in, auto, in the AutoCAD file was matched to the zero point in the Rhino file. And depending on how far away your drawing is from the zero point, um, chances are you might not, you might either be too zoomed in or zoomed out. To fix that problem, I'm gonna go ahead to this icon right here under the standard tab here. I'm gonna make sure that I am under standard here. And then you can see this zoom extent icon that has the magnifying glass with the four arrows at the four corners. Uh, if I left press, it will zoom so that the entire drawing is within the extents of, the, of uh, the image that I'm seeing or the viewport. If I right click, that is going to apply to all viewports at once. Now you can see that I need this for all four viewports. So I'm going to right click on this icon and it will automatically zoom to my drawing and it will zoom in just enough so that the entire drawing fits in all the viewports. Now the next thing that I have to do is I'm going to go check my layers. You can see that the layers are still there that I couldn't delete. So I'm going to delete them right here, simply because um, Rhino allows me to delete these layers. And now I'm left with Windows layer, the zero layer, which I'm going to delete as well, but it does not allow me to delete it. That's fine. So I'm going to be left with Windows and Walls layer. I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to make sure to use appropriate layers all along the Rhino file, simply because Rhino allows you to insert material um, by the object. So you can allow material to be placed by every object separately. So you do it for every object, or you can ask it to uh, place material on an entire layer. So you have multiple ways of arranging your file or your layers in the file. Um, you can either choose to go for material. So uh, anything that is wood is going to be placed in one layer. Anything that is glass is going to be placed on one layer or, and so on. Or you can categorize it by the category of the objects. So doors are together, windows are together, and so on. Regardless what you choose, you always have to find a system and follow it. Now, next is I'm going to have to uh, activate my walls layer simply because I'm going to start working with the walls. So I'm going to right click here, and you can see that the tick has moved to the walls layer. Um, 
to make my life easier while I'm working, I'm gonna go ahead and start joining by pressing on this um, uh, puzzle icon right here. Alternatively, you can just type join in the command line and I'm gonna start uh, selecting my lines so that my objects are joined together. And I remember that you have to select them in order. So one by one, so you can't be jumping from this line to that line. Rhino does not uh, read it that way. So this is one object that was um, selected. The second object or the second set of lines is gonna be this, 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 going to make sure that I am selecting all the lines and this is a closed object. Now notice how the command will automatically exit or stop once the curve is closed. So I'm going to start the join command again. I'm going to go ahead and start joining these lines as well. And finally, Okay, so now I have my lines. I can delete this one. Okay. Now, um, now I'm ready to start extruding. Now extruding is the process of transforming uh, my drawing from a 2D drawing to a 3D object. That is gonna happen in the next tutorial. So please watch the next tutorial um, to know more. Thank you.